Hello my dear students I am your educator Burhanuddin and today we will learn acid base and salt In the previous video lecture I had covered the introduction part of this chapter and today I am going to start 2.1 that is understanding the chemical properties of acid and bases So our today's topic is understanding the chemical properties of acids and bases So let's first see what are the list of topic that we are going to cover in this topic acid and base in the laboratory how do acids and bases react with metals how do metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonate react with acid how do acids and bases react with each other reaction of metallic oxide with acids and last reaction of non metallic oxide with bases so in this particular video lecture we are going to cover our very first topic 2.1.1 that is acid and bases in the laboratory we will learn this topic with the help of two activities activity 2.1 and activity 2.2 and in this video lecture i had covered activity 2.1 and in next video lecture you will see activity 2.2 so let's start with the very first topic acids and bases in the laboratory so with the help of activity we will learn this topic in this activity we will see that how indicator react with acid and bases for this activity we have to collect some samples from the science laboratory that are hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid acetic acid sodium hydroxide calcium hydroxide potassium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide but in this particular activity we will be taking only one acid and one base to understand the chemical properties of it so let's start here we had taken acl solution and four wash glasses in each wash glass we had taken drop of acl solution so here we have four indicators that are blue litmus paper red litmus paper methyl orange and phenolphthalein so you are already familiar with litmus paper that how litmus paper react with acid and base you might be not familiar with methyl orange and phenolphthalein and in this video lecture you will learn that how methyl orange and phenolphthalein react with acid and base so let's put red litmus paper blue litmus paper in wash glass and a drop of phenolphthalein in one wash glass and see the changes so what changes did you see in here that red litmus paper has not turned its color and blue litmus paper is turned into red color which signifies that the given solution is acidic and by adding a drop of phenolphthalein there is no change in color and now we had add a drop of methyl orange with the help of dropper and the solution color has been changed to red so what change in color do you observe with a red litmus paper blue litmus paper phenolphthalein and methyl orange solution for the hydrochloric acid solution so here there is no change observed in a color of red litmus paper and blue litmus paper has turned its color to red and phenolphthalein does not change the color of solution if the solution is acidic and methyl orange changed the color of solution to red if the solution is acidic so these are the result of the observation which we had done with the acid now we will take NaOH which is base and we will repeat the same activity for NaOH and we will observe the changes so here we had taken a drop of NaOH in each wash glass and now we have to put blue litmus paper and red litmus paper in wash glass and a drop of phenolphthalein in another wash glass so what changes do you observe here red litmus paper has turned its color to blue and there is no change in the color of blue litmus paper and by adding a drop of phenolphthalein in NaO solution the color has been changed to pink remember students that phenolphthalein has not changed the color of solution in acid but here phenolphthalein has changed the color of solution to pink in basic solution and now what happened if we will add the drop of methyl orange in the solution so the color of the solution has been turned to yellow so now what change in color 
did you observe with red litmus paper, blue litmus paper, phenolphthalein, uh, methyl orange solution for NaOH solution which is base. So here there is no change in the color of blue litmus paper because this given solution is base and in base blue litmus paper doesn't change its color but the red litmus paper has been turned into blue that signifies that the solution taken is a base and the solution color has been changed to pink after adding phenolphthalein and the solution color changed to yellow after adding methyl orange to the solution. So these are the observations or results which are obtained by the indicators in a basic solution. So note down these observations. So students what did you understand from the activity? So this activity tell us whether a substance is acidic or basic by change in color of the indicator or by the indicator and there are some substances whose order changes acidic or a basic media. These are called olfactory indicators. So students in next video we are going to learn what are olfactory indicators with the help of animation and, and pictorial representation. And that will be our activity 2.2. So things to remember from this activity. And my advice is students that you should note down this activity because this is our learning from this activity. So acid converts blue litmus paper to red and methyl orange to red. And base convert red litmus paper to blue and phenolphthalein to pink and methyl orange to yellow. So students topic which will be covered in next video lecture is activity 2.2 that is olfactor indicators we will learn what is olfactor indicators and how order is changed in acid and base so that's all for today's video lecture thank you